hello and welcome to my channel please like share and subscribe if you like this video and thank you all so much for watching thank you thank you thank you to my day ones twos and threes thank you to all my new subscribers that's coming in that means well thank you so very much i appreciate you all and welcome 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 this video is for entertainment and educational purposes only so everything is alleged some is not in the fair act use is in my description box y'all so let's get to it let's get to it um y'all some ain't sitting right right now something is just not sitting right um i'm just sitting back thinking on what just happened and why it just happened and how it just happened and i'm like is this a part of this takeover that they always was talking about. You know, Jay-Z never talked about the takeover and this and that. And if you look at the way things are going right now with the industry stuff and who the targets are at this particular moment and how so many of their artists is being targeted right now, I had to sit back and think about something, y'all. Because I'm thinking, you know, I would hate to say that um gucci man is a part of you know this little secret society if he's not and is is you know as i'm thinking about it, you know it could be either or he could be a part of this society or and he getting his little cut seeing right now because he was sad, trying to sign people like in desperation so it makes you think that he's a part of it you know and then how the numbers just lined up but I'm going to tell y'all this. It's one or the other. When you sign with a record label, the record label that you sign with, just say Big Scar. He signed with Gucci Man. So Gucci Man, is, he knows about this stuff. He knows about these numbers and how they line up and this and that and that and this. He knows about it, okay? Um, not only do he know about it, the people that he, you know, mingled and tingled with to get involved in this mess they know about it okay now it's one or the other either your label wants you you know out the way so that you know they can make room you know it's a little thing that they go through every time out with the old and in with the new as soon as they're signing people some other people ends up passing away for some reason so this is why i call it you know um you know, they're getting out, you know, getting rid of the old and getting some new people in. Okay? Um, liquidate. This is what I like to call it. Because this is what it seems like. And um it's one or the other. Either he's a part of this mess, or there are people that's call themselves doing this little hostile takeover that's we've been hearing about for years now. Um either they're doing it. If he's not going along with what they want him to go along with, are they airing out all of this person's artists? Just think about this for a minute, y'all. Lately in the news, the main person's artist that's been in the news is Gucci Man. Okay, y'all? Let's think about this. Now, it, it amazes me when I go to the images of Takeoff and you see this 1017 chain. And it makes you wonder, you know, was Takeoff wanting to go in another direction away from, you know, um, Mob Ties now, which probably includes Jay-Z now and other people that, you know, in their little circle. Was he wanting to go in another direction? Was he wanting to go in the direction maybe of Gucci Man way? Okay. Um, we don't know. But we know that there are people in the industry that they don't like. And we know it's some that they blackball. Okay? So, could they not make him sign with them? Is this why they got rid of Takeoff? Okay? It, was he somebody that was leaning toward 1017? He was closer to Gucci Man and them or in, you know, as far as dealing with somebody in the industry than he was with Mob Ties now. Ask yourself this question. Because um, if they can get you to sign with them and they can get something out of it, then, you know, they don't mind kind of keeping you around. But everybody was saying that Takeoff did not want to um, sign. 
with them or anybody else that he was with, okay? He didn't want to resign with them. So think about it, y'all. Was this somebody that was, you know, closer to Gucci Man than he was other people? And are they trying to blackball Gucci Man out the industry? Ask yourself this question. Um, it's another one, y'all. Young Thug. He has on this 1017 chain, too. And he's in there fighting for his life right now. Everybody that's kind of associated with Gucci Man in some shape or form is either getting taken out or they're fighting for their life in the prison system trying to you know um keep their heads above water right now so is there a hostile takeover of the industry right now think about it y'all think about all the people that's hangs together and think about all the people that's you know that's kind of quiet and probably on their own little other thing and that could have been take off on some other stuff he didn't want to be around them like that but he was around him because, you know, his uncle was around him. Okay? Think about this, y'all. Everybody that's in the news right now, or, you know, some shape or form, has something to do with 1017. And remember back here when all those artists was getting taken out, and somebody told me, that was like, either, you know, Ghazi is taking out his own people, or somebody is trying to shut his, you know, whole little enterprise down. But all of these guys are so cool, I don't see it. And I've heard in the past that people, just like before Snooty Wow got taken out, that it was a big meeting at some kind of little, you know, get-together little spot. And, you know, CMG members were there and Mob Tabs members was there. And they were in Houston. And it happened right before he gets taken out, which make you think that that was planned too, y'all. Okay? Um weird the whole thing about snooty wow weird weird you get a phone call somebody asks you to come help them you go help them and then some of their family members show up and then they take you out i mean come on now what is that about that don't make no sense somebody was paid to you know set that man up then we have big star big scar i keep calling him big star Big Scar, we have him that's in the news. Look at his 1017 chain, y'all. I'm just saying, it's a pattern that's been going on in the news lately, okay? He got on his 1017 chain, and lo and behold, you know, he didn't had you know, street pharmacy stuff and all kind of stuff all these years. But lo and behold, the year 2022 hit, and um, the date of 12-22 hit. He 22 years old, the date is 22, the year is 22. This is the day he wants to accidentally, y'all, take himself out. Y'all make it make sense. Make it make sense. Is this at the hostile takeover? That's all I want to know because that's what it seems like to me, okay? And all of a sudden now, you know, your Gotti is hanging out with, you know, um, Jay-Z so hard and Dolph is out the way. Just life is just great for these guys right now. And we're sitting back watching this stuff happen. We the people, okay, sitting back watching it happen. And we're like, you mean to tell me all these other young guys are getting sentenced for this and that and that and this. But no arrest in takeoff case. No arrest in, you know, um, Duke 93 case. No arrest and none of these other people, you know, Mo3 case and Young Dolph case. You know, I know people want to say, oh, they have arrests, but no, they don't. They are not the ones that call this. No arrest really in um, takeoff case. Who's really behind it? There is something really spiritual that's about to take place. I do believe that it's going to be a doozy. Okay, y'all, I keep telling y'all this 223 is popping up next year. Um, people are going to have to pick sides for surely sure next year on good and evil. They really are. And um, a lot of people is going to be put to test next year because it's going to be so much going on. So much demonic stuff is going to be going on that people are going to, you know, just like they're you know, sticking together and, you know, beating these cases and this and that and that and this, the evil people. 
Um, you know, the good is going to have to, and this is why I love my page, y'all. You know, we, we don't be tolerated with no stupidity. If you're going to come on here, we, you know, and act ignorant, we, you will be blocked. Um, disrespectful is okay to disagree, but in a respectful way. And everybody up here already know. But people are going to have to pick a side. They are. And they're going to have to stick together and put their heads together on how to, you know, um, and keep up with each other and talk with each other about things that's going to go on next year. Like people are going to even have to be even closer as far as their, you know, who they're subscribed to in their conversation in the comment section and, you know, the things that's going on in the world and people that all gather at different pages or whatever to talk about it. It's going to be some serious issues going on right now. And you see that this year is going out with the bank. Y'all, y'all already see that. You know, Vix, um, Vix Scar gets taken out on the 22nd, y'all. All of these sixes, it's like 666 twice, y'all, okay? The 22, 22, 22. That's 666 two times, y'all, okay? Um, this is crazy. This is crazy. All of these artists that's in the news lately is connected to Gucci. Gucci man, y'all. Look at this. Rapper Big Scar has reportedly passed away from an accidental prescription. You know, stuff over. Took too much. Y'all, I, I don't know. It, it's something that's that's kind of bugging me. Let me see if I can go back to it. That's that's sticking in my head about Big Scar right now is think about this. The last three people that were in the news and all of social media lately that has passed away, all three of them didn't have any kids. And the funny thing, you know, I'm not trying to be funny, but I just noticed stuff before things just, you know, come up sometimes the parents are or somebody in the family is coming forth on his behalf saying that this was an accidental thing oh that it says the uncle the uncle is coming forth saying this was accidental and shutting down anything right away and it, it made me think about you know go first go check to see how much he's worth so when i went to check that it was like one point Two or something like that of four million dollars, one point two or something like that, or one point four. And I was like, okay, so he was working with a little money that you know people can share in the family. And then I went in, I was like, do we have any kids? So I went to check to see, did he have any kids? And it said that he did not have any kids, y'all. So think about he didn't have any kids, and then Shanquila didn't have any kids. And takeoff ain't having any kids, y'all. I want y'all to think about this. These are people that's passing away right now. People with a, with a nice little amount of money that they didn't, you know, get together. Then worked hard for, and then all of a sudden, you pass away. Nobody to leave your money to. The family divides and going about their business. The ones that ain't fighting, because we already know that takeoff, you know, parents are going toe-to-toe, -to -toe, but, you know, people was coming forth saying he didn't go and go want nothing. That was a lie, okay? Shanquila, you see the, the greed in the sister, okay? So, we don't know how that's going to turn out, all right? Um, The flashiness of the mama, it even, you know, it just seems as if there's something more to that whole story than meets the eye, Okay? And then now you have, you know, Big Scar, no kids. This is what they're saying in the report, and he has no kids. So, and his parents come out right away and say, no, this was an accident. You know, I believe in accidents, but something that lines up that perfectly with that day, the 223 and all of this other stuff that's lining up with him, um... The album cover, all that stuff. Oh, no, y'all. I just don't see it. 
the date, the year, the age. I, it just, I don't know. I'm not feeling that, y'all. I'm, I'm just not. I can't. This is another artist that Gucci Man has been, you know, fighting for lately. Um, Pooh They're saying that, you know, he's living in, you know, cruel and unusual conditions in the prison. They're doing stuff to him like, um, you know, he's on lockdown 23 hours. I don't know why he mad about that because I'd be glad to be away from people if that was the case. Um, but 23 hour lockdown, um, he is 1,500, I think, miles away from home. Um, family can't even come see him really, you know, stuff like that. You know, they're just saying a, a lot is going on with him in there. They're also saying that, that you know, when they bring him a tray to his room or whatever um sometimes the tray is empty and they're not feeding him y'all sometimes he's not eating so um i don't know y'all i'm starting to wonder you know it don't pay to be gucci's man artist right now y'all because they're a target right now and instead of them, you know, putting a target on him, they putting a target on his whole record label, it seems to me. Okay? If, you know, he's not, you know, because I told y'all when I read, when I did the numerology on um, Gucci, it was, um, he was coming past tense. So it was this his way to, you know, get back them off of him by giving up somebody? I don't know. I don't know. But it's, I just find it odd that um, that date that lined up like that. But if you think about all the other things that's going on with his artists too, um, just makes you wonder: if, Are they all coming at him and his artists? Because you know, if you want to take over the industry, you gotta pick labels and stuff that possibly you got some beef with you don't like. And I don't know, do they not get along with Gucci Man? I don't know. Y'all let me know in the comment section. But, um, I don't know. Was he, I don't see him at the, do y'all see him at the brunches and all of that stuff? Because I don't remember seeing him at no brunches with them. Okay? He do be dipping and dabbing and doing some music videos with certain people like, you know, Lil Dirt and all of them. And Lil Dirt is cool with all of these other people too. So, um, I don't know, y'all. I just feel like a lot is coming at him right now. And this is what we're saying. Gucci Man posted this. We do not pay attention to how inmates are treated. Who has been sent to a prison over 1,500 miles from his home. 23-hour lockdown and given empty food trays. USP Pollock should be investigated immediately. This is... um. And they got at Kamala Harris on here. Y'all, I don't know. Just too much, y'all. Distance aside, he can't have visitors while on lockdown anyway. So Colin says it's a virtual impossibility for Pooh to see his fam. Y'all, I don't know. It just seemed like his label is under attack. And it seems like everybody that's all cool with, you know, can you see Jay-Z and this is Puffy and Yo Gotti? Everybody that's all cool in these little circle of people that he's hanging out with, these are the ones that look and like in social media web in the world of everybody else that um they getting away with a lot of stuff. They're getting away with a lot of stuff, y'all, okay? People being taken out around them, their, you know, their ops, what they call it, are being taken out, you know, one by one, or their artists, that, you know, and nothing is happening to their artists and stuff, unless and they tired of them, and then sometimes something pop up. But the majority of the time, it is somebody else's, y'all. Just like, you know, Puff Daddy right here. Baby mama was finna write that little tell-all book. And then all of a sudden, she ain't here no more. 
you know. Um, a lot of people been pointing fingers at him. That this was the reason. And that she possibly said some things before she left here. I don't know. I wasn't there. Okay, y'all? So I'm going to say allegedly. But look at this big old hug he trying to put on him, y'all. And he already know all the rumors that people be saying about Puffy. But I, I don't even think he's Puffy type, y'all. Puffy like the, you know, the ones that look alike um, Justin Bieber and Usher now. Uh, see, Puffy don't even act like he want to hug him. And that ain't normal for him, y'all. Look who else is there. Moneybag Yo. He's there too. And I do believe these brunches are to sign people. And, you know, them to, this is for them to gather. They act unlike their gods right now. And when you sit back and you listen to what happened today in the courtroom and when they got outside and the father, you know, of um, Tory and what he was saying, y'all. Did you hear what the father was saying? He was saying that they have prayer warriors, y'all, and that Jay-Z was going to be brought down in spirit, Okay. So it's going to be a spiritual war that's taking place right now. It's ushering in really fast before this year even go out. It's, it's a strong energy coming in right now. And um, it's going to be deep, y'all. It really is. It is going to be something serious. But look at this brunch, y'all. That's all I'm saying. Look at the brunch. Look at the people at the brunch. You know, I did not ever used to see Lauren London hanging out with rappers the way we see her out with them now. I never saw her out with Puff Daddy now and Jay-Z now like this before Nipsey. I never did. But it was like she stepped up in, you know, a rank or something when um, Nipsey got taken out. So it just makes you wonder who all really was involved with Nipsey y'all okay because it just seems weird that you know um all of a sudden they start you know acting like they so crazy about her now and she's a part of everybody else since Nipsey passed away it just seems odd to me I'm just saying y'all okay and I don't know if y'all see this because I have to blow this up a little bit but yeah I'm gonna ask y'all this question is Puffy getting some kind of shots fillers or something in his face to make his face a little fatter he might be getting some wrinkles because it looked like he's having some type of work done in his face right here you see this round little circle around his little cheekbone it don't look real y'all like a plate or something or some type of shots or something look at over here it does not seem real. They, he's messing. Well, his face can't jack up anyway. I know y'all see this. I can't be the only one. It's right around the cheek, little, the, the, the little cheekbone. And out of all the people, you would think he would have got his teeth done. I see all these rappers with this teeth and. Look at his. He got all this money. Now let's look at these cheekbones a little bit more, y'all. Do y'all see this right here? Look to the left cheekbone. Something is wrong with Puffy's face right here, y'all. Is he sick or is he getting some type of... Is that Botox? Because you, you can almost see the needle hole right here going right through that little spot right there when it blew up y'all is puff daddy getting fillers because that's what it looks like that is what it looks like y'all i know i hope y'all let me know in the comment section if i'm tripping do y'all see it let me see can y'all see it? i'm gonna see what y'all see look at his chip bones it looks like like when you fixing somebody up with something kind of 
scary movie stuff. Look at his jaws, y'all. Puff Daddy, is, is he sick? I wouldn't be surprised. He's having babies just like Nick Cannon now. Well, not having babies, but going from one female to the another one. And y'all, look at this flowers. All these flowers. I remember when Nipsey Hussle did that that um photo shoot with Lauren London on the horse. And they had all these flowers around. So is this something to brewing, y'all? Because they got these flowers all over the place again. And I don't know what is with these pink suits and pink gym shoes these guys are wearing, but oh lord. Shout out to Nine Mag TV, y'all, because I got some of these pictures from his, his um page about the um the brunch that they had. And as you can see, you see Megan the Stallion standing there, so she's a regular there. And you see, you know, Rihanna. And I guess this was before Rihanna had to, you know, stop dealing with her because she wasn't right. So this is why I be telling y'all that, you know, um, everybody just ignored the fact that, um, you know, what happened, she played a big part in what happened to her that night because, you know, they had allegedly left and then came back to pick, you know, Tori up. Like, no, he not staying here. Like they, like she owned him or something. So it's like. How do they ignore that she played a big part in this mess, too? I can see if it was, um, you know, just all one-sided. But she played a big part in what happened to her. And like I said, look who's at the brunch. Okay, is this why she won the case, y'all? And you heard that? You heard somebody in the background say that. I, I, y'all tell me if I'm tripping or not, but I heard somebody say when all the little commotion was going on in the chaos outside of the courtroom, someone said that, you know, Jay-Z was mad because Tory would not sign with him. And if this is true, it makes you wonder, did he send Megan at itty bitty, y'all? Did he send Megan at him? Because he know he was a little tender stuff. Huh, y'all? Ask yourself this question. Because they just did a major chess move by removing Tory off, off the board. Okay? And they did it with one of their, you know, their little kittens over here, y'all. Okay? So, think about this. Was she sent to get Tory out the way? Y'all, I'm just saying. Was she sent... Because they just did a major move. He is possibly locked up. And he's possibly going to be broke when he do get out. And when it's all over with. He's going to probably be broke after appeals and all this other stuff. And he's a it's a possibility that he might get kicked out the country. Because he's not from here. All over, you know, dance be. And y'all, did y'all see the footage? Did y'all see the footage of them outside of the car and everything? Megan looked like she didn't have on anything when the whole thing happened. Ask yourself, how did she get out of her clothes in the back seat of the car? Because she was in the back seat, allegedly, and Kelsey was in the back seat. And they're saying that, you know, Itty Bitty was in the front seat, in the passenger seat. So, he, she was sitting right behind him in the car. So, what the heck was she doing in the back seat that she did not have any clothes on, y'all? Something is weird about this whole thing. You know, I was like, I got to go back and check out what this whole case, you know, so we get up, do a little bit more digging on this case. But how does she end up in the back seat with nothing on? Um, Tori, he didn't look like he had on much either. And, um, Kelsey looked like she had more stuff on than everybody. She just had on a little top and bottom, but it was still looking like she was on her weight. Was they playing, sh you know, you know, you know, the card game when you, you lose, you take off something. I don't know, y'all. Was they playing in the car or something? Y'all tell me, please. Okay, because I don't know. Why did they not have on, you know, their clothes in a car? 
when he had her, you know, hitting at her pinky toes, saying dance, why didn't she have on any clothes, y'all? I don't understand this. That whole case was weird. And, you know, like I said, people still feel that he was in the wrong. Okay? Um, but she was too. She was too. She was in the wrong. So, y'all, it's just weird how everything went down. And for somebody to say that Jay-Z wanted him to sign and now he's gone, it seems like it was a setup. That's all I'm saying, y'all. Seems like it to me. Because that's what I heard. That is what I heard. Now, look at these faces of people that's in this little circle to keep the foots on everybody's necks. And for them to stay balling out of control. And everybody else stay where they at. Because they are not helping the communities at all. They're not helping. Even if you did go buy some toys for, you know, for the holidays or feed somebody for Thanksgiving, some turkeys. Are you all helping, really helping the communities like, like Dolph was doing? Are they really doing this type of stuff, y'all? Or are they making things worse with all the street association stuff? And then now people is feeling even more um, distance from them because of the fact that it seems as if there's a lot of unfairness going on right now. It really is a lot of unfairness. And this is how we're going into the new year with unfairness. 22 years somebody is facing and she started it. You know, it's it's weird, y'all. It's really weird how things are going right now. So, the fact that the father came outside of, you know, and he was saying, calling them evil, de demonic and evil. And he was saying that God is going to handle this. And he was talking, he kept saying, Rock Nation did this, Rock Nation did this. I've been saying this for the longest. I've been saying these, these particular labels are in cahoots together and you know they are playing chess y'all okay and they're, they're removing people that they want to remove out of the industry either you're gonna you're gonna be with them or you're going to be blackballed or you're going to be locked up or you're going to be you know um taken out if you're not with what they're with and if you're with them you know, you get away with things. Because this is what it's looking like, y'all. That It's like they removed Kanye just to try to put Puffy in his place. Okay? Um, they're, look how they're breaking down his money over him just talking, y'all. Look how they're coming at him, the IRS. Everybody's coming at him. This is not... This is weird, you know. Of somebody that, you know, you already know has... Like mental background. You would come at somebody like this. And. I don't know y'all. It just seems like it's. Everything is set up to. Come out the way they want it to be. I'm just saying. All of these people getting paid to do these crimes. And then if they if you get caught. Just don't mention us. You know. And they're going along with it. It's weird. But some people are tricking. Okay. But I still believe that that's going to be something to brewing from that as well. Because they're not, they not going to want people to tell. So they might try bullcrap. This is why I was saying that, you know, gunning them seems like they're sitting ducks. You know, they're letting them out. And then they're putting up a public announcement saying that, you know, they are not tricking. But everybody in the world is feeling that they are. And it, since they are, shouldn't they be protected? If they are a witness in this mess, you know, I just feel like, um, I feel uh, two different ways about the whole young thug thing. I got the talks tonight, y'all, but I had me a little happy treat. But y'all, I feel like with the whole young thug thing, you know, he was doing some grimy stuff to people and he had got way out of hand so i cannot feel bad for them telling on him because he didn't need to be on the street if they didn't you know
collected 50 bodies, y'all. That's somebody that needs to be taken off the street. But the thing that gets me is he didn't do this stuff by himself. And people were a part of it. And for them to get out and then everybody leave him in there. You know, who's to say that they're not going to get out and start their own little stuff back up? You know, without him. It's just, it's so many things that, you know, I'm, I'm just like, this is crazy that they marched all of them in there like that. And then they're giving them, oh, 12 years, this, that, that, and that. And then the 12 years goes to, you know, probation. <laughs> I've never heard people get 12 years probation. I've never heard of that. But this is what they're doing. And it's starting to look like, you know, was this all a joke or something? Because you say you got all, you arrested all of these people. You cleaning up Atlanta. And at the same time you call yourself cleaning up Atlanta, you're letting everybody walk right back out the front door. Like, on here, you get a case, you get 20 years, you get 15 years, you get probation, probation, probation. And everybody's strolling right back out the door. And it's like, what was all this for if you're letting everybody get back out? And they were a part of this group. For you to even make the cut, you had to have got your hand dirty on some stuff. So it just seems to me that a lot of people that's getting out, um, is that a possibility that they just are letting more, you know, criminals right back out? You know, it's it, it's crazy because you, you have mixed feelings about it. But when it comes to, you know, collecting 50 bodies, you have to sit back and be like, oh, you know, that that's, you putting in a lot of work there. You know, y'all? So I don't know. Um, something that I just found out that I wasn't, um, I wasn't, somebody is getting, they did something up there. Um. That just threw me off. Oh, this one more thing I wanted to say really, really quick before I get off, y'all. Um, they were calling Jay-Z a B outside of the courtroom. All kind of stuff was tripping me out. Um, I was trying to wonder why that he won, too. And I was thinking about this, you know, um, on another channel. Somebody said that, you know, the weapon was found on Tory's side of the car where he was at in the front seat on the passenger side. So it was up there where he was, too. So um, when she was outside of the car and he was um, possibly, you know, hitting at her out the window or whatever, you know, was, Ch you know, Kelsey, did she come to the other side of the car watching? And that's how, you know, the powder got on her hand because, you know, he possibly hit at her and then it got on her hand because she was sitting right behind him. You know, because once she got behind him, after Megan was outside of the car, she was right by it, y'all. Okay? So, that could be why she had it on her hands as well. Okay? So, I was thinking about that too. So, yeah, it's the way it went is looking like, I don't know. I just got a feeling that Jay-Z could play a part. If the family is that, they're calling him out like that and saying that he asked him to sign a deal with him. What is it that, you know, all of these guys all of a sudden want everybody to sign to them? And if you don't sign to them, their people are getting taken out. You know, Dolph get offered $22 million and then he turned it down and then he get taken out. You know, Corey gets offered, you know, uh, whatever they offer him and he turns it down and now he's locked up and the person that got him locked up is one of jay-z girls now you know it's you got to think about all of this this is getting really weird y'all but like i said it's nothing for people to be afraid of because this is supposed to happen okay um stay tuned for next year that's all i can say y'all it's some serious stuff for brewing and one thing real quick, I keep saying one thing, but one more thing that I want to bring up really, really quickly, y'all, is um, I had said that Empire hadn't, you know, been losing nobody. But then when I went and checked the board, I was like, wait a minute, Empire just lost, what, one, two, three, four bodies recently. Four bodies. So, PNB Rock, 
he was he did a distribution deal with Empire. Um he passed away 9 12 2022 in Los Angeles. Um a lot of cash that that's stole. She had also, y'all, did a deal with Empire, a distribution deal. And she was taken out in Houston. Remember, I told you all these people hang around each other, okay? Um 9-24-2022, this is when she was taken out. Take Off was taken out in Houston as well. The second Houston spot. Um, 11-01. And he also did a distribution deal with um, Empire. And... Slim 400, y'all. That was 2021. No, Slim 400 was 2021. DJ K Slate, New York, New York. Um, he had a distribution deal with Empire as well. And he was a DJ, but he still had a distribution deal. 417, um, 2022, y'all. So um that's one, two, three, four people that um Empire possibly got a check for this year. That's crazy. Four people. And back to back to the fourth, two on the night, the month of the night, two of their artists was taken out in one month. And then 1101, take off. Weird, right, y'all? That's weird. So I, I just want to talk about that. I was looking at um, 2021. They lost three that I could think of. 1117, 2021, Empire lost Young Dolph. Um... They lost Drakeo, the ruler. He was signed to them as well. Um, Slim 400 was signed to them as well. So they lost two in the month that month. And then Young Dolph a month before. Wait a minute. Yeah. Young Dolph, 2021. Yeah, and Draco and Slim 400 passed away both in December. December. That's weird, y'all. Every year they have a couple that pass away in the same month and then they have some that pass away in the same year. Like, just think about 2020. Mo 3 and King Von passed away in the same month as well. That's weird. That's weird, y'all. When somebody do pass, they take two out at, in one month. Hmm. That's a pattern with, the, with them too, I'm seeing now. Every year, every year for the last three years, two people pass away in one month and then somebody in another or two people pass. That's weird, y'all. In one month. That's weird. That's some liquidation for you right there. That's odd. I just paid that attention while I'm talking to y'all. Anyway, y'all, I just wanted to jump on here and let y'all know that, you know, um, something is definitely a brewing. It really is. Something is a brewing. And um, we got to be ready for it. Because, you know, what can, what else can you do but, you know, be ready? Seriously. Because just like that guy said, it's, you know, evil and demonic stuff is not going to prevail. Look at her, y'all. Look at her. She looks so stupid right here that it don't make sense. She's leaning all over in the chair, leaning on somebody over there. And she already looks stupid. And then she's frowning up, making herself look, look even worse and laying all to the side like she's, you know, wasted or something. I don't know. But she looks stupid. This is what we have representing us, y'all. Hitters and just stupid people. What is this world coming to? Seriously. And I know y'all want to be like, oh, y'all, you stand up just because of her face. No, I'm not saying it because of her face and her two-tone face, okay? Regular people, that face is not even like this. They wear makeup, so why can't she? I'm just saying, y'all. And you already look bad, so you should, you know, carry yourself a certain way. You know, um, not bad, but that's look a little stupid, you know? I'm just saying what you just... Look at her face, y'all. I'm, I'm just saying, y'all. Okay. 
it's nothing wrong with going to get a little tan and stuff. They got inside tanning places that people go get tans and she can get lined up right. She don't have to just stand out like that and then look like this and making these faces. That makes it even worse. She don't have to be out here like that, y'all. She don't. I'm still going back to the way everything is so peaches and cream with these guys. They think they're winning, y'all. These labels that's calling themselves doing the takeover, they think that they are winning. And they think that disrespecting God is getting them somewhere because, you know, um, right now this is what it looks like that they're winning. And they think they are. They think that they have figured out a plan where they can all sit back with their riches and play God. And decide who lives, who, you know, they take out. Um, who make money, who don't make money. Um, everything. Just sit back and play with everybody's lives. Wow. This is crazy. Change laws that affects the communities. Um, affects everyday people that's out here having to deal with and live in the areas where... You know, up-and-coming rappers feel like um, the only way for them to come up is take out people and rap about it. And, you know, Jay-Z wants people to be able to do this without having any type of, um, you know, take any blame for it. This is what they're doing. Jay Prince Jr. and them is laughing in everybody's face and putting up stuff, talking about let this one slide and... Taking out people, whoever they want to. Um, allegedly, y'all, this is what they, these guys are doing. Head over here, head, head, and more head. He is over here, you know, taking out people, allegedly putting, you know, hits on people, allegedly. And getting away with it, too. Year after year after year until he finally got off. And for some reason now, you know, 50 Cent is trying to join the crew. And be a part of them so that he can, um, you know, make hip-hop homicides about people, y'all. And then hang out with the people that um, that actually did it. Okay, y'all? Make it make sense what's going on. And Ghazi is just in it for the ride, y'all. In it for the ride. He tried to be a rapper years and years ago. And he just couldn't cut it, y'all. And he studied rappers. He studied black people, y'all. And figured out a way to sign these fools to deals. Act as if he cared about them. Sign them to deals. And when he get tired of them or feel like it. Or the right, you know, for the, or the right price come along, allegedly. They get rid of them, and they get they hit the lottery when somebody passes away. And this crew of people, they're trying to squeeze Puff Daddy in there, too. He's trying to squeeze on in there with them, too. They're taking these groups of people, and it is, you know, can you keep your legs steady when you got it on their necks? Yeah, man, I can. Okay, you in the group. And this is how it feels with these guys right here. This is a sad situation that's going on. But like this guy said, you know, if his son is innocent or his son shouldn't have been just treated like that for the simple fact that they all had been had a little sippy sip, okay? And um it wasn't just it wasn't just Tory's fault what went down. It escalated to that that it was bad. But it wasn't just his fault. And for him to go out like that, and this man to start hollering, and they all talking Rock Nation, Rock Nation, and they speaking of all the evil and demonic stuff that they were speaking on, y'all, something is a-brewing, y'all. It is. When you got people screaming outside of the courtroom that, um... God gonna handle this? There's some injustice going on. And there's the energy that's going on that's shifting right now. 
And we have to keep that energy alive as far as, you know, um, waiting on the right stuff to go down instead of the wrong stuff to go down. Because for so long, they've been getting away with a lot of mess. Okay? This year, everybody's stuff starts showing. Everybody's. So next year, you know, makes you wonder if, you know, this call is supposed to be the year of, you know, this demonic stuff. 22, just 223 mess year. Um, what do God have in store for it? Because, you know, he had a play in a lot of stuff that happened this year as far as people were being revealed. So what is, you know, going to gonna be God's position in, in next year of how things are going to really come out? Okay. Um, we got to fight against this mess. That's taking place, y'all. We really do. We really, really do. Okay? Because it's a lot of evilness that's going on right now. And the cola they are, you know, they get rewarded for it. You know, every time you see Jay French Jr. now, he's hopping on his private jets and this and that and acting as if he's on top of the world. Because you, you know, just played a part, allegedly. And taking out one of the biggest, you know, um, artists today, y'all. It's weird. And they walking around acting as if, you know, ain't nothing happening. Because, you know, they can get the judges and, you know, the court system to overturn things. And, you know, they took all the heat off a of little cam, y'all. And they put it all on DJ Pat. And... They're acting as if he did not invite him there. They're acting as if DJ Pat, you know, wasn't somebody that took orders from them. You know, so it, it's a lot brewing right now, y'all. It really, really, really is. Anyway, y'all, let me get off of here. I've been running my mouth for an hour. I know, know y'all going to be like, these videos is too long, Miss Loder. <laughs> anyway, y'all, please like, share, and subscribe if you like this video. And thanks for watching y'all. Peace.